All right, guys, welcome to um, episode two here of raccoon trapping series that I'm doing. Um, this episode is going to be about using coil springs on uh, dry land to catch raccoons. Um, I did this, heck, I still do it um, all the time. It's a very good method, um, you, but it's, it's really good for not just raccoon. I mean, I've caught coyote doing it, bobcat, everything else. So um, I kind of got you guys situated here. Um, I'm gonna move the camera around a little bit, but I kind of just made a little makeshift uh, raccoon trail here in the ditch. I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I would go about setting up an area like this with a coil spring. This is just gonna be a blind set, flat ground, about as simple as it gets as far as a coil spring goes. Um, this will pick you up a lot of critters in a hurry, guys. So um, anyways, I'm gonna get the camera situated here and we'll get on with this set here. All right, before I get on with this set here too too far in depth, I'm just gonna show you guys how I use these pogos. Um, slide it in there like, like so. Um, I got it on here. I'm gonna try and reposition the camera a little bit here so you guys can see it better. Um, basically, if this was my raccoon trail right here, running up there, um, I'm just gonna take this pogo here, just off to the side a little bit, just shove it in the ground. I'm not gonna get it in there very far, guys. It's really dry here, but you get the gist of it. Um, I don't really want it in there that far per se anyways, because I don't know if I'd be able to get it back out. But um, yeah, guys, that's, that's how I stake it, just like that. I usually go down to about the chain. Um, get that pogo about 16 or 18 inches into the ground and nothing's getting it out of there but anyways guys i'm gonna get this camera situated to where i can show you guys exactly what i'm doing and how i'd set a flat blind set for raccoons with a coil spring all right guys so i kind of got the camera positioned how i want it so we're going to imagine that this dirt kind of area here's our coon trail um say this say this is one side this is the other side here um, a little bit wider than an actual coon trail probably but we're just going to roll with that um, we got our coil spring here. Um, bedding is very key on these guys. You want to get it in a very solid, solid bed. Um, we're going to go ahead and set our coil spring here. Get that baby set. Okay, so we got our coil spring set. And one thing that I know that I've used a lot on this coil spring is, I don't even know what it's really called, but this little spike type deal that comes off this trap here. I love to use this as far as stabilizing that particular trap. Um, shove it down into the ground and it works really great guys. So anyways, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna try and get this kind of centered here into the camera lens if you guys can see that. Oh yeah, it looks good. Okay, so right in here, I'm gonna take this pointy part of this bottom of this trap right here. I'm gonna jam that into the dirt really good. Okay, and if you guys see that, when I'm touching that particular trap, there's no wobble at all. So I'm not leaving it just like that. This is just kind of for show, but basically centered. Some guys say offset it a little bit. Um, you'll catch them with it centered just fine. You can offset it if you want or not. It doesn't really matter all that much as far as a raccoon. You know, their, their front feet, their front feet are traveling pretty centered to the trail. I think it's more their hind legs that are offset, but that that's just my opinion. You know, I know a lot of guys like to offset them too. So and then what I do with this particular set here, um, the key to this, guys, is find dead grass, which might be kind of hard for me because we're we're in August right now. Um, I'm filming all these ahead of time, but if you kind of find some dead grass like this, guys, um, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Yeah, some dead grass like this. I got some green stuff in there, but you know, when it comes to trapping season, it's gonna be pretty dead. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take this, kind of rip it up, Kind of just blend that trap in a little bit. It doesn't have to be too, too dramatic at all, guys. Um, the reason you want dead grass versus green grass, this green stuff right here, this will hold moisture. And um, it's a lot easier for them to pull their legs out if you have a piece of green grass in there. So you definitely don't want any of that on there. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a secret that I've learned about these things too. Um, so you can do this with basically anything. Um, I just got like a little part of a weed here or something. Um, I started doing this and this is very subtle guys, but it'll work very well. So if you imagine um, the size of the raccoon, you know, his steps aren't very big. But say he's right here, his next step's probably going to be close to that pan. 
But if you just take a little twig like this and put it kind of in the ground right there, what's he gonna do to that stick? He's gonna take a big step over it and where's his foot gonna land? Exactly where we want it, right on that pan. Um, I tend to only do this on one side if it's from timber going to corn because they're probably only traveling one way and I'll get them the first time hopefully with this foothold. But you know, there's sometimes I'll throw in two of them, you know, kind of just box, oops, box that trap in there. But um, overall guys, this set will take a lot of fur. Um, it works great, but it's not the only set you can set on dry ground with this um, coil spring. I'm gonna show you guys the next one here. This is arguably one of my favorite sets of the foothold. Um, it, it works great. So I'm gonna get you guys repositioned and show you guys the next position of um, how I like to use these babies. All right, you guys, so this is gonna be my next set with this coil spring. Um, I call it a step down. I don't know if there's an actual name for it or not, but I absolutely love using this set. Basically, if you got a hill like this, which this hill's pretty steep, guys, um, if you can find a location on this hill where you think you can get it kind of flattened out a little bit, it, it, this set works great. So I'm going to kind of show you guys here a little bit. So say this is our coon trail coming down right in here, coming down to here. So you got this little kind of a flat spot right here. If you just take your hammer just a little bit, just kind of make a shelf here. Not, not too much by any means. Coon are not very tall to say the least, but just, you know, a significant drop. And then you kind of end up with something that looks sort of like that. Um, then you're gonna take your coil spring here where you got that shelf built up. You're gonna take your coil spring, get that bad boy set here. Um, and you're gonna take it. Um, trap position actually doesn't really matter, guys. Um, but I mean, you could go right here, you could turn it a little bit or whatever, but just make sure when you guys get that into the ground there that it is solid. So I'm gonna try and get it in there pretty solid. Right there is pretty good. And we're gonna do the same thing, guys, with the grass clippings. Or not clippings, but the dead grass. Um, just kind of blend it in a little bit, you know. They're like that. So by doing that, you totally avoid having to use the sticks to get them to step or something. Regardless of this, if they're going up for that, they're going to have to take a long stride to get up it. So they're going to short step to right there. And you're either going to get them right there or he's going to be coming down this hill. You're going to come down and not really jump, but kind of take a long step to the nearest point off of the shelf. And you're going to end up with a cocoon right there. So, yeah, guys, that's that's just kind of how I like to use footholds. Um, definitely, definitely a killer method as far as taking all sorts of different kinds of fur. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is going to be a fun series, guys. I'm, I'm getting pretty pumped. Um, next up, we got coil springs in the water and all raccoon trappers. Well, I shouldn't say all. There are some that don't like to trap in the water, but if you want to catch a lot of raccoon in a very quick hurry, some coil springs in the water will definitely do it for you. So. Anyways, guys, until next time.